Welcome back, everybody, to Trails of Cold Steel 3. When we last left off, we were doing, I guess, the opening dungeon? It's kind of like the old schoolhouse from the original games. Let's just get right to it. Combat begins when you walk into enemies on the field. You can press X to attack enemies on the field. An attack from the front will cause an enemy to pause briefly, but if you can land an attack from behind, the enemy will be stunned for a set time. Some enemies can be stunned by attacks from the front. Once you've accumulated enough assault points, you can press R2 to activate an assault attack. Unlike normal field attacks, assault attacks will trigger a battle on hit, allowing you to begin encounters with a surprise attack and maximum advantage. Huh. Interesting. Assault points are earned by destroying specific breakable objects attacking enemies with field attacks. Okay. Yeah! Huh. Yeah! Yeah! See if I can get behind. Yeah, yeah. Everyone ready? Nope. Obviously can't. The uh, field attacks in this feel a lot more weird. Okay. Yeah. I'm up! Alright, I forgot. Must yeah. battle scope everything. Very important. Weak against her. Alright. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Alright, Altina, show me what you can do. There. Battle complete. Let's continue. So I'm assuming those medals on their chests, I was commenting about that. I just noticed, you know, they all went to, into different classes. So I'm wondering if it's like to identify what class they're in. Battle tab is now unlocked in your notebook. And everything's the same as the previous game, so I don't quite need to go over that. But if you need to, take all the time you need uh, doing it. Yeah, this is basically like the tutorial dungeon. All right, let's see about getting a sneak attack. Our chance to attack. All right. Let's test out arts. But first, yeah. Let's see what they're weak against. 
All right, weak against fire. My turn. Who has fire? You do not. But you still take a good amount of damage. Marcus, from activate. Me. My turn. What about you? Yeah, sure. Marcus, uh, activate. Soul blur. Let's go. <sighs> Here I go. <sighs> Okay. Ha! Yeah, it did not like that. All fire. right, nice work. Ooh, and treasure. Treasure located. Several varieties of quartz that can be used with the Arcus 2 ornaments. Uh, EX1 quartz that enable you to use specific arts. Okay. EX2 quartz that increase your stats. And quartz with multiple functions, mostly rare quartz. Okay. Once again, same as the last one. So let's see what it gave us. It gave us, I think, the Breath R, was it? Yeah. So this adds HP and speed and heals allies in an area with purifying breath. Okay. Well, you don't really have anything, so I'm going to give it to you. Sit. Let's try out this field attack thing if it'll let us. Press R2 to change Juna's mode during battle. Use whichever mode is most effective for the current situation. She's got striker mode. Has increased attack, defense, and move, effective against strong enemies. Or gunner mode, which turns her into pierce. Specialized in range attack events, effective against groups of enemies. Okay. Set gunner! Interesting. Oh, she can target multiple now. Very interesting. But you're going to battle scope something, so... Weak against Earth, okay. It's my turn! Crimson Slash, huh? Crimson Slash! Let's go! Interesting. Of course, we've already seen this, but uh, strike now. Yeah. Break occurs when the enemy's gauge break is reduced to zero. This will disable the enemy for a brief duration. Dealing damage to an enemy's HP will also damage its break gauge. Okay. When break occurs, the enemy drops its held items. The enemy's turn is delayed and the enemy's status buffs are removed. Attacks will always unbalance the enemy. Enemy's defense is reduced and the enemy cannot act for one turn. Certain crafts inflict more break damage than others, exploiting an enemy's elemental weaknesses, will also increase the amount of break damage it receives. It's my turn! Now let's attack. Yeah! Nice! We did it!
Although gunner mode doesn't get the same attack and defense boost as striker mode, the range and area of your normal attacks will increase, as will your counter-attack range. Generally speaking, striker mode should be used against a single powerful opponent, while gunner mode is best against swarms of enemies. You can also change Juna's mode from the equip screen in the camp menu. Okay. Let's go! Now! It's my turn! Yeah, sit. We got a smoke grenade for that one. Treasure located. Firebolt R. Hmm. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that out for you, and I'm going to give you the breath. Because this one adds strength and defense, and she seems like she could use the extra strength. Yeah, yeah. Sit, yeah. All right, let's just lure my way. Huh, sit. Really, game? Okay. Yeah, huh. Our chance. Yeah, the field attacks feel really, really slow. Huh. Here I go! Ah. Very well. Yeah. Now. I'm up! Huh. All right, nice work. We got a tear bomb from that one. Yeah! You can now use combat links. Combat linking is a phenomenon which connects Arcus 2 users to each other by sharing sensory input and mental impulses with one another. Linked characters can fight together more effectively. Alright, you can form combat links in the tactics section of the camp menu. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see here. I will pair Yuna with you and Reen with Altina. Because why not? There! Take them down! Link attacks. Performing attacks and certain crafts gives characters a chance to unbalance enemies. Successfully unbalancing an enemy allows you to perform a follow-up attack while they're off balance. Which we've already seen. Case in point. It's mine. I lend it. Let's go. Battle scope the big yeah. guy. Weak against wind and fire. All right. Yeah. I shall go. It's my turn. Yeah. Very well. Ha. I'm up. Sit. Now. Now. An opening. Was my support helpful? Yeah, thanks as always. I got some new material out of that one.
Yeah, basically all the stuff that we already know about him. Uh, link attacks can only occur when the enemy is unbalanced, the success rate of which depend, which is decided by the weapon type used to deal damage. Squishy monsters are more easily unbalanced by Reen's slash damage, and hard shell monsters by Kurt's thrust damage. Other types include Pierce, strong versus flying enemies, and Strike, which is strong versus rock type. Each character deals different types of damage. Yuna's striker mode deals strike damage, while her gunner mode deals pierce. Yep, we already know that they take critical damage. You've Thank just you crossed that. the halfway point. Best of luck on the second half. And we get another treasure chest. Yes. Thank you. What kind of campus would build a facility like this on site? Show no mercy. There. Let's go. Sit. Very well. My turn. Ah. I shall go. Eh. Let's go. All right, nice work. Yeah, I'm starting to think more and more I'm going to have to do the runaway tactic of getting my my sneak attacks. Over. An opening! There! Wide open! It's mine! My turn! It's my turn. Get back. My turn. Let's see what this Brianna, does. Activate fire. Very well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. An opening. Behold the Vander style. Hmm. Something down here. Ah. Ah, treasure chest. The proxy puppet. That could be useful if somebody goes down. Now, brace yourself! Now. Okay, so that could heal. Oh, it heals a lot. Nice. Brianna, activate! Fire! Lowers defense, good. Ah. Let's go! Crimson Slash! Now! I'll assist. My turn! And I completely forgot to use a battle scope on this thing. Huh! Weak against Earth, okay. All right! Set! Striker! Very well. 
I keep wanting to use the old way of... Ah, strike! <laughs> it's my turn! Get back! Now! I'll assist. My turn. Yeah. Battle complete. Let's continue. All right, nice level ups. Yeah, I did it. I must train even more. Stats updated. Oh, detector. Interesting. She can actually use the detector skill, like the mages in the other two games. Keep your guard up. Now, bring it on! Seven slash fallen leaves, huh? Let's go! Do I need it? No, I don't need to scan you again. Alright, perfect. Craft, S craft, let's have a look. My blade, calm as still water. Now! <laughs> Flash! Fallen leaves! All right, nice work. All right, and with that, I've got to call the episode here. When we return, we will finish off this little dungeon and continue on with the story, because chances are there's going to be lots more cutscenes. So until then, I'm Zero Kai X. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>